Hello everyone, welcome back to a, uh, not even a new product review, this is more of a uh, product refresh. Today we're going to be talking about the American Home Life GuideStar product, which has been around for quite a while now, uh, but just last week on uh, actually August 5th, 2022, they have refreshed the product um, and made some pretty notable changes that we're going to be covering. <clears throat> so on the left side of the screen here, we're first going to go over the changes to the minimums and the maximum uh, face amounts. So on the right side, this is the new uh, agent guide for the new product. So the only state change they made is that South Carolina is no longer available. Otherwise, the product is still available in all of the states uh, that it was before. Uh, the, the main nice thing that I like that they changed is that there is no more mandatory APS over 20,000. So there's no more um, you know, automatic requirement for that. And it usually, I don't think hardly if ever they'll require it, which is nice. Um, when we look at the difference in the big difference here is that they knocked it all the way down to zero for the level product and the graded product now begins at age 20 so you're gonna have a lot more people who are eligible for this product as opposed to what you had before um, both this product and their newer Patriot series product also um, have social security billing true social security billing which is very important if you look up here at the graded plan you can see that they did change it. So it used to be 25% year one, 50% year two. It's now ROP plus 6% in the first year, 50% year two. So they did change that graded plan. And if we look at back at the uh, maximum face amounts, the minimums haven't changed. It's still 1,000. But um, if you're looking at someone who's owed to 44, you can go all the way up to 50,000. 45 to 75, uh, you can see here you can go up to 35,000, so no change. 76 to 80, they increased from 15 to 20, and then 81 to 85, they doubled from 7,500 all the way up to 15. Uh, for the graded product, they significantly increased the bands as well. So from 76 to 80, we tripled it, um, or they tripled it, and from uh, everywhere else, they increased it from 10 to 25 and lowered that age all the way down to 20. So this is, in my opinion, very useful because it's a pretty, uh, what I would consider to be a more traditional final expense product not something like, um, you know, uh, Mutual Omaha, Children's Whole Life, Gerber Grow Up Plan, something that's more geared for 0 to 18. Uh, this is a more traditional final expense plan that you can get for people under the age of uh, 45, which is pretty uncommon. So now we're going to look at the underwriting changes on the, so this is, again, the old uh, agent guide here. I'm going to scroll down to the application, which is right here. And on the new application, this is the 45 to 85, so there are two apps now. We'll briefly cover the, um, the under 45 app in just a second here. So if we push this to the side. So there aren't too many huge changes, I would say. The, one of the biggest ones is that they moved congestive heart failure uh, into the decline section. So it used to only be a decline if it was accompanied by coronary artery disease. Otherwise, you would usually get it graded. Uh, however, that it's just a straight decline now, which is fine. That's how most carriers treat CHF. Uh, interestingly, they did move, if you look here, the um, operating a vehicle while intoxicated, they moved that into the graded section on the new app. So it is down here, question 8E. So that's uh, if you run into a lot of people who are getting DUIs, you're going to be able to at least get them graded coverage instead of just a straight decline. Uh, interestingly, they also added a seizure question here. So that wasn't something that appeared anywhere on the old app. Seizures were just level. Um, but that is something that's asked now in the graded section. So if you do have a client with epilepsy or seizures, make sure you're asking when they have their last seizure, as that's what they care about here. Other than that, the um, the, the biggest, I would say, graded change w would be the diabetes question. So their old diabetes question was a bit verbose. It was a uh, duration of 20 years or more requiring insulin was automatically graded or any age not controlled. On the new app, uh, they more explicitly defined um, not controlled, so a A1C over 10, um, diabetic shock or coma, and they removed the insulin parameter as well. So duration of 20 years or more, which is basically all your type 1 diabetics, and those who are taking insulin, which is also type 1, but many type 2s as well, you're now not going to have to throw them at the graded plan. They have a chance at level. So they're really only asking here about the uncontrolled diabetics, people with severe complications, because even neuropathy, retinopathy, as long as um, you can answer the application questions no, will get issued level, as it states directly in the guide. So that's a, a very welcome change, as there's not too many carriers who will issue a specifically neur uh, neuropathy uh, level. So that's something that's uh, very nice to see. 
And the only other um, <clears throat> smaller change that they made in the graded section, as you can see here, they added a wheelchair uh, piece of language onto question seven, where that was not present before. If, before, if they could answer the questions no, you would be able to go level. Um, now, they moved it into the, uh, the question here. So wheelchair use, if they're wheelchair bound, keep in mind, so if they're confined to the wheelchair, that would be graded. So not too many massive changes. Uh, they've kept the application pretty consistent, which is good to see. Uh, as mentioned in the decline section, the, the big change was in question E here. <clears throat> they, they changed um, congestive heart failure to a straight decline instead of this question. Other than that, it stayed pretty consistent. So the only other thing we are going to look at here is the new app. So the new app is the 0 to 44. So these are ages that you could never get someone on GuideStar before. This is a new age band for them. And I would say this app is pretty in line with what you'd see. We're just going to X this out. Well, let's leave this up and we can compare it a bit. But um, you see you're pretty typical under uh, under 45 questions. So if someone's been diabetic under age 20, um, you have your uh, rheumatoid arthritis question prior to age 20, which is fairly uncommon. But again, that's a subset of people they're not going to take. Um, you have your organ transplant, you know, your, basically your terminal illness diseases, Marfan syndrome, cystic fibrosis, um, Huntington's disease, all those sorts of uh, conditions. And then if you scroll down here, you see some of the other typical questions you see on under 45, under 50 applications, liver disease, hep C, and of course this is everything from question 6 to 8 is the graded section. So you can have up to um, uh, one question answered yes in the graded section before it declines. So you have your paralysis question, which kind of ties into the ADLs as well. And then you have your 12 months decline. So a pretty standard application below the age of uh, 45, uh, but it is a nice thing to have in your bag because there's not too many solid options uh, for clients, especially ones with true social security billing that go under the age of 45. So if you're contracted to sell this product, if this is something that you've sold before, uh, please let us know what you think. If, if it's something that you think you might sell, if something you're interested in, I remember it is in the toolkit now, so if you are interested in potentially selling it, um, you can play with it a little bit. Um, let us know what you think. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and we will see you on our next podcast episode.